and my name's Bob from Taxmaster Consulting, and, and I look at different ways that we could we could look at numbers. That, that's what I do with Taxmaster. So this this first slide here that I'm going to be showing you guys, okay. There's a bit of a, a competition going on here with you guys out here. There's different colored teams, all right? So there's a chance for your team to win bonus points here. Who, by, who's able to tell me what this, this number is here rep, it represents? It's a 10. It's an excited 10. That's good. Yes. Do you know what it is? It's awesome. Okay. I'm looking for a, 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 a mathematical term here. Yes. Say, sorry? Permutation. Factorial, the red team, the red team, make sure you mark that down, that is 10 factorial, okay? A, fa a factorial is, is essentially 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 times 6, right? But, but it's interesting when you see the 10 with, with an exclamation mark, you associate that with, with language, which is what inspired this, this concept, this idea in me when I saw this in grade 10 in, in high school. I had the same excitement, like, oh, that's, a, that's a, an excited 10, but there's more to it than that. And it, see that sparked an idea in me. And there's a fun fact moving on that there are exactly t 10 factorial seconds in six weeks. Okay. Now, I didn't address this. I apologize for the congestion. Uh, I had a lot of milk yesterday, and it just so happens whenever I present that I, I get this. So I do apologize. Bear with me. I'm doing the best I can here. Now, moving on, we, we looked at what numbers meant to different people groups. We saw how that 10, some of you saw that as an excited 10, or some of you saw it as a factorial. So we looked at, for example, the number 4. When people think of the number 4, what other things could be associated with the number 4? So an article student, for example, that may refer to the number of hours of sleep they get per week. A musician may see the number 4, and they may relate that to a, a time signature. An accountant may relate that to the, the number that precedes 5. So just looking at the number four, it's interesting how different people groups have different perspectives. So we, we notice that in tax particularly, people have a negative connotation with these numbers. When they see numbers relating to tax, those could be intimidating, they could be stressful, or they could be mundane. So we, we looked for a specific people group that have a, maybe a positive or a very unique connotation with numbers. And what's interesting we found is that music is, is all fundamentally related to math. And so going from there, we looked at some, some music and how that relates. These are a couple really interesting quotes. So from Pythagoras, the, the red team's probably very familiar with him. This is geometry. There is geometry in the humming of strings. There is music in the spacing of spheres. Okay, uh, this next one is my personal favorite from Gottfried Wilhelm von Leggingi. Music is the pleasure the human soul experiences from counting without realizing that it is even counting. And this is what inspired this entire concept that if, if we can associate numbers with music, we could challenge and we could possibly even change people's view and how they view tax because music is not typically mundane, intimidating. It's more what we would say inspiring, uh, joyful, exciting, energizing. So let me demonstrate quickly here what this could look like. We have some numbers. So one cubed, if we were to, to connect a sound with that, which could be a, like a kick drum, the one would be a okay? Then we have 11 cubed, that would be Okay, so that's a start. Now, when you take 111 cubed, we have a new sequence, so that would be all right. Now we can repeat that. Okay, is this exciting? This is different, right? This is a typical tax. So we're going to add some commas in there. All right, and, and more close to the accounting form, it would be. We've got to add a dollar sign in there because what, what tax, it's not tax if there's nobody involved. So that's going to sound like ching Okay, so now you're wondering how does this relate to, to tax? So we have, we have the numbers started here. Uh, we're going to have a form pop up. Uh, if we get this working, maybe it's just because it's in my pocket. Let's try that. There we go. So we have a tax form. It's pretty plain, but if we go to uh, one that's, that's more proof. So here's from British Columbia, okay? So shout out to all of our friends on the, on the West Coast. This one is more relaxed. It would kind of sound like... Okay, 
Okay. Well, thank you. Yes. That's one from out there. Uh, up next, we have one from, so this is from Eastern Canada. It's, it's more mainstream type of music that they, they might deal with there. So this one could be a... Okay. Thank you. This one, this was a more of a local one for us Calgarians. Uh, it actually sounds a bit like like Kaiza. Is everyone familiar with Kaiza? She's from Calgary here. This one would sound like. Uh, <laughs> Whoops. Okay, I have something to confess. But my name is it is it Bob. I'm actually Peter, and I make music with my mouth. So everything that you're hearing, while my name is not Bob, it is coming off from my mouth. Are you guys having fun so far? Excellent. So we want to keep the energy high. If you guys like what you hear, make sure you cheer because there is a competition. Remember, okay? <laughs> Want <laughs> flow. Thank you.